Hello guys, today I'm going to discuss about the struggles of long distance relationship. Me and my husband got engaged on 9 October 2019 and he went back to England and here in India and uh, there are so many struggles that we went through regularly and the first thing is time difference. The difference between India's time and England time is 5.30, 5 or 30 minutes which is so much. What's up guys, welcome to Danny and Soda's YouTube channel. This is vlog number two and it's all about long distance relationships. What did you think of the English? The English is amazing, yeah? So time difference. Time difference is a massive thing. Before I went to India, I didn't feel it as bad because I hadn't met her. All we did was just talk on the phone whenever we got free time. So when I went over to India, we actually spent some time together. We got engaged, we went for a pre-wedding shoot, we had so much fun and laughter and then I had to come back to the UK and she had to stay in the fun job. Time difference is a massive problem for us because when I wake up in the morning, it's around 6, 7 o'clock, it's already coming on to about 10, 30, 11 o'clock in India and she wants to talk to me but I'm getting ready and I have to go to work so we have a little bit of a chat and we have to put the phone down. I FaceTime her on the way to work in the morning so I get to talk to her for another 10 minutes or so but then I have to go into work. Then she has to wait for my lunch break. My lunch break could be around 2 o'clock. By 2 o'clock it's already around 7 o'clock in India. By the time I finish work it's time for her to go sleep so... So that stays awake for me all the time, most of the time and... Because I've got a long day at work here. I get pretty tired so I want to just go to sleep straight away but... Bless her cotton socks. She stays awake. When I get back from work, we do have a good chat for about an hour, but then it's time for her to go sleep. So yeah, time difference. Time difference is a massive, massive, massive problem when your wife's in India and you're sitting here in the Duke. The second biggest problem that I've had is India's lazy internet. The internet in India is so slow. Me and Sudha, we be trying to video call each other and us guys down here, we've got like speeds of 100 megs or whatever and the speeds are like ridiculously fast. You type something into Google, it loads up like this. You watch Netflix, it loads up like that. You go on YouTube, it loads up like that. You try to download a movie or a song or anything, bang, it's quick. But in India, the lazy internet. I'm sure they're getting speeds of like 56k modem or whatever. The speed is not even on 4G internet for us to even FaceTime each other properly. So it's always disconnecting or it's always slow and we're having to spend ages and ages trying to connect to each other because we did once, once, I used a landline to phone her and I didn't, re didn't realise I rang her on a mobile. I got a bill for about £200. So I was like, eh, eh, not doing that again. So we've just been WhatsApping each other. We've been trying to use the internet. And yeah, the internet speeds are really slow in India, but you can still get by. You can get by. It's, it's doable, it's doable because I've been doing it. So about long distance relationships, I thought I would never, ever, 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 ever do a long distance relationship. I always thought, if the woman's too far away from you, or you're too far away from the woman, there's too much time on your hands, how can you fall in love, how can you love each other when you're too far away from each other, you can end up cheating on each other or going separate ways, a long distance relationship would never ever work, I was totally against it, but I don't know how, what, why or when, I met so that and things, we just clicked and the long distance relationship is working because I think when two people actually really love each other and we've got so much to plan whilst I'm here and she's over there and we're, keep, we're trying to keep connected with the lazy internet and loads of other things and now through YouTube um, it's working. You have to find someone who likes the same things as you I guess so yeah but if you fall in love a long distance relationship can't work. So another issue, so that always has with me, is she always says, you got a busy schedule. And I'm like, 
girl, I have to work from Monday to Friday. You have the two days off, which is Saturday and Sunday. And someone always comes over, like family or friends, or someone wants to meet up, someone wants to do something. So you're always so busy. And then we hardly get time to speak to each other or do anything because it's a massive time difference as well. So just say my friends come over, my cousins come over, my family comes over, and we gotta sit down and spend time with these guys. And then you've got Sudha on the other side in India. She's waiting to speak to me or I'm waiting to speak to her. And the schedule is so busy, but if you want a long distance relationship to work, you've got to bypass it and you just got to make time for each other. Maybe she stays up later to speak to me when I get, away, when I get home from work, or I wake up earlier in the morning and speak to her for a longer time before I start work. And you can hear my mom smashing the pundit. Buland kar sakda hai. Is Supreme Court ne bhi. Tenu pata hai jab main bol diya pehen jo tha tha mar jani vich. The fourth thing is we're trying to plan the wedding together, but because of the busy schedules, everything gets delayed and it takes a lot longer than it should take because she's over there, I'm over here, she's five hours ahead of me, I'm working and I've got a busy schedule, so like. Things just get slowed down so much. So we're trying to plan the wedding. We're trying to plan the cars, the venues, the food, blah, 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 whatever, the rest of it that comes with it. And it's just kind of difficult because of the timing. And I'm here in the UK and she's there in India. And I just feel as if I'm the middle man because I'm not in India and I can't do things that I, I can't just get up and say, yes, let's go food tasting. Yes, let's go to the venue and let's check out the venue. Let's speak to the DJs. Let's go see the cars that we're going to hire. I can't do any of that. So whilst I'm sitting here in the UK, she's having to send me pictures over, send me videos over, and we're communicating that way through WhatsApp. And that leads on to the fifth point, which is video calling. Video calling has been a lifesaver. WhatsApp has changed the game. If you're looking to get married to someone abroad, Make sure you got internet on your phone. Make sure the guys on the other side have got internet and just make sure you can video call each other. WhatsApp is the key right now. As long as you can see each other, you can talk to each other, you can communicate to each other, you can send videos, you can send photos, and you can plan your wedding and you can just chat to each other. It's amazing. It's just, it's just a game changer. Whereas now on WhatsApp, we can do that over the internet instantly. So yeah, WhatsApp video calling, and these smartphones is a game changer. It's a massive lifesaver. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the bullet points that we put across for long distance relationship struggles. To be fair, it's not really a struggle. Like, it's not, it's not that much of a struggle. It's true because if you actually like each other, you love each other, you start to care about each other and your relationship's getting stronger and stronger, it's not really a struggle at the end of the day. These are just exciting times. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're going through the same situation as me, or if you're looking to get married in India or anywhere else abroad, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell button on the side so you get a notification. Every time I'm uploading a video, Next week, I'm gonna be making a video on wedding preparation. So we're gonna be talking about the cars, the DJs, the venues, and the food taste. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel name, Danny and Sudha. Hit the like button and please share as much as you can. Thank you so much.